They are cozy, warm, and wonderful, but sometimes we think soft blankets are tricky to clean. Brian with Blankets by Brian.com is here to show us how easy it is to actually keep them softer, <laughs> longer. Hi. And hi, welcome. <laughs> that is a concern, though. You yeah. get these really luxurious blankets, and you worry how long they're going to last. Yeah. Sometimes I think I could do a whole 30-minute documentary on this because I love talking about cleaning them. They're it, the best part about this is the easier you clean them, mm -hmm. the better they come out. Don't huh. overcomplicate so things. Simplify things. Simplify, yes. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little test, Saray. Okay. Can you tell which one of these pieces of material are my dog's blanket that Your he's dog's used blanket. for three years, mm -hmm, okay. and one is a new piece that's never been used? You know, they're all soft. I, I honestly, I can't tell. These are my dog's blankets right here. This is a brand new this piece one. of material that's never been no, used. You can't tell. In fact, I'm this serious. is the very first blanket that I ever made five oh. years ago. Okay, so the question is, how do you keep them that soft? <laughs> it's really simple. So we all recognize these products. Right. It's the stuff with the smells, the fabric softeners, the all the big claims with all the crazy ingredients in them. But there are chemicals in there? that can Well, they're normal cleaning, yeah. well, what they call cleaning chemicals, but it's all that stuff that clings to these fibers. Okay. Artificial fibers are a very simple fiber. They don't have pores in them. So the more stuff you put in your laundry, the worse it's going to come out. It's going to come out that um, grimy feeling. So you want to just kind of chuck that away when it comes chuck to Chuck it these? all away. Okay. This is all the stuff you need. And whenever, on my website, I have all of this down, but whenever I refer to an eco-friendly soap, it's anything that's considered uh, sensitive skin where they've stripped out all the stuff. I kind of like the rule of thumb, if it's good for baby, then it should be good it's for you. It's the best soap ever, yeah. Okay. It's all the stuff with the scents. You don't need things that smell like lavender. Mm. Put that in later. Right, <laughs> so you can do the essential oils. Yeah, in fact, you could put them in the dryer cycle, which I'll talk about in a second. So basically what I'm using here is vinegar, baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, and maybe one, two, maybe three on a big load of a little bit of soap. Tablespoons. That's it? That's it. Tablespoons. Tablespoons. Yeah, so what I do, and I brought this as an example right here. We all have these. There'll be a little bit of different configuration, but you've got your soap cup, your fabric softener cup. And this is your cup. washing machine. You pull yes. out the drawer. I pulled it out, so my washing machine is currently missing this piece. <laughs> so this is the bleach cup. We all know where that bleach cup is. Yeah. That's where I put in the vinegar hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Now I say or mm -hmm. because I actually like both methods. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I switch over for vinegar for maybe the smelly stuff. Mm -hmm. And then if there's a stain, I might switch over to the hydrogen peroxide. You know what I love about this? In these ingredients, we all have them at home. Yeah, yeah. And if you go to a bulk store like Costco, you can get, you get it the big insanely bag. cheap. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so cheap. In fact, it's maybe even cheaper than soap. So that's what I do is I put that uh, about a quarter cup of the baking soda with a couple tablespoons of soap. Then I wash it in cold. Oh. And I'm going to tell you, the bigger the item, the better it is if you just do a high spin cycle and do them by themselves. You could do two or three baby blankets, sure. Mm -hmm. But when you have those big king size blankets, wash them by themselves because they just wash faster and better. On delicate cycle or no, just normal? normal? Normal cycle. These, okay. I'm gonna tell you, you can take these to a football game. They're never gonna wear out. Even if you took a white one, they'll never wear out. They're durable. I wonder if we should They're just never... be washing all of our clothes with the, this solution. So I do. Huh. I do. And one other thing, too, the detergent pods. They've now told us that the detergent pods actually start, when they dissolve, they can sometimes cling to the fibers. So I wouldn't even use the pods. Okay. Um, just make it really simple. And then when you put it in the dryer, be careful because the dryer sheets almost always have that... Um, fabric softener in them. Mm -hmm. So use these dryer balls. I love them. You can get them on Amazon. You can probably get them at any craft store. In fact, you can make them yourself. And I what think you these do is are the coolest things because it's, it's a ball. Right. Right? Yeah. And so, oh yeah, good idea. Take one out. So you've got the, the dryer ball there. And then if you want a scent, put in a, a drop of essential oil on that. Okay. But you. these tumbling around in your dryer on air, no heat. No heat, no heat, okay. no heat. Works. Just right. air dry and those tumbling around, are, it's going to be amazing. All right, Ryan, really quick. We've run yeah. out of time. Sure. What is the deal that you're offering So it's Christmas? a free scarf. Um, for the next couple of weeks, we're going to until 
Sunday the something. I have it on my website. It's free scarf. You get 15% off and a free matching scarf to go along with it. Great deal. Blanketsbybrian.com. It makes a wonderful Christmas gift. I don't think I got my daughter one and oh, I excellent. think the whole family needs one. Go home and try this. You'll be surprised how soft it'll come okay, out. Okay. Blanketsbybrian.com. We'll be right back.